welcome back to my channel even here i have for you guys today this makeup look i actually recreated because it was requested by a few of my viewers so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to see the products that i use then please keep on watching okay okay everyone so first we're going to start by priming our eyes with a primer i'm going to use say the urban decay original primer potion and we're going to apply that all over our um eyelid space you don't really need a lot I just really take like one drop and put it all over my eye just is enough and whatever's left just put it under the eye and if you ever feel like you put too much just take out the finger that you didn't apply it with I usually apply with my ring finger and use your like um index finger and just wipe it off because remember we don't want to put more okay. than we need okay so i'm going to use today my Too faced chocolate bar palette i'm really excited to use this today because i'm in love with this palette if you guys seriously haven't picked it up you need to go get it so the first thing i'm going to do is apply the first shade with my sigma large shader brush the e60 and we're going to go in with this color right here um if you guys can see that and it's called marzipan and it's a beautiful, uh, shimmery, um, kind of reminds me of Urban Decay's Sin, but maybe a little bit darker. And we're just going to apply that all over the eyeless space. You see how it gives that beautiful sheen? I absolutely love this color. I'm going to now go into the crease okay. with this color right here. It's called Salted Caramel, and we're going to use the Sigma E25 brush. This is going to be our transition shade. You always want to have a transition shade in your crease when you are going to use a darker color so that it just looks like a more um, uni unified or cohesive um, blending. And this is a beautiful color as well. If you haven't gotten this palette, Okay, so now we're going to go into the um, outer crease, the lower outer crease area with the same brush with the E25 from Sigma. I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's called Amaretto. And it's a beautiful like copper, um, it's like copper and bronze, I don't know if that's even possible. And we're just going to go into the outer crease with that color. And you don't really need a lot, just a little bit and you just want to work it in there. And I bring it all the way in. And you can intensify this as much as you um, like. I just like to do a gradual build. Because you can always add more color. If you put too much, then you have to really start all over again. And then you can just, whatever's left on your brush, just bring it up to the um, higher brow bone area. Because you want the two colors to um, salt to caramel and amaretto to really just blend in together. So it really just makes this one really unified color. And I'm going to put a little bit more. And that looks about right. I'm just really just blending. Okay, so next we're going to go in with our and pencil then, brush with our E30 brush. And we're going to go in with this beautiful shade right here. It's called Champagne Truffle. And we're going to put that all over um, our highlight area. Our brow bone. And I know it always looks like I put a lot. But remember what I told you? Go a little bit into the inner tear duct. And then we're just going to blend the rest out with our finger. I like to do that. I'd rather put a lot than to keep reapplying when it comes to the highlight. And then I just go in and then I will soften it up with my finger if I feel like I need to. Which I'm going to do because um, it's a little bit pronounced. So what I usually do, instead of tugging, I just kind of tap at it. And I switch fingers. Because I want the highlight to be visible, but I don't want it to like overpower either. So if you feel like you took off a little bit of your crease color, just go back in with the same um, blending brush. Don't add any more product and just go back and blur out the line. So it should look like that. And then if you really want to like 
smoke it out a little bit you can go in with that same crease color with the amaretto and run it underneath okay, so now that our um, eyeshadows are all are in place now we're going to do um the eyeliner and i'm going to use two liners from m cosmetics um the waterline is going to have the rose gold that's going to put it inside my eye and then on the top and the bottom of my eye, i am going to um line it with this color and it's called bronze kiss and then I'm going to put on my um, false eyelashes, which are the House of Lashes in um, Siren. You'll see those in a minute. And then I'm going to use my mascara today. I don't know which one. So I will show you um, those things okay, when right, I so come back. Okay, so we are done with the eyes. So to recap the shadows that we use, we use marzipan all over the lid. We use salted camera as a transition color. Then we put amaretto on top. That sounds like actually a really good drink um, at Starbucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Marzipan, um, salted caramel, and amaretto. <laughs> Anyways, and then we followed that up with uh, the two eyeliners that I mentioned. Um, bronze Kiss on the lower and upper part of the eye. And then um, on the waterline, we use Rose Gold. These are both from M Cosmetics. Then I went in with my uh, Tarte lights camera flashes mascara on the top and bottom and then i put on my false eyelashes from house of lashes these are the siren lashes i really like these a lot because they're very wispy looking so i really feel like it really brings out the look so now we're going to move on to the face so today i'm going to use for primer the benefits of the professional um because i want to use up this sample first before i try to get um the full size um because i did determine that what flaked on me that day i mentioned in the previous video wasn't the primer it was actually a concealer that i tried so let's just rub that in and i'm trying to decide what foundation to use today i don't know i think i'm gonna just go in with the benefit hello flowers because i think that's what i used that day because i'm recreating a makeup that i wore in two of my videos that a lot of people really commented on and they really um, girl in particular to, i think um, i know her name starts with lovey something i will put her name here and um yeah so i'm just gonna recreate all right, so that now that we put on our primer now we're gonna put on our foundation i'm gonna finish try to finish up this sample i have of the hello flawless and this is the shade i'm so money honey because i really like the way the foundation looks so we're gonna apply that um buff it in with the angle kabuki brush and i'm just gonna stipple that on my face and as I've mentioned before, this foundation is a lot lighter than my um, skin tone, but it seems to work because it oxidizes. So we're just going to um, buff that into the skin. And I really like to use, um, as you, as you can see, how much lighter it is. But it's okay. I warm it up with my um, bronzers and stuff. Make sure you really like blend it into your hairline because you don't want to like put it and then it's like you know doesn't match and i might have put too much with um concealer because we want to cover up these little dark circles i have and i'm going to use nyx concealer in a jar in the shade medium and as you guys know i've been using this a lot i love this concealer for five bucks and we're going to go with my sigma precision round brush which i absolutely love and this is the p84 i mean 82 i always work. i always mix up the numbers please forgive me so we're just going to stipple that under the eye and if you want to um, make the eye look brighter underneath we're going to use something for that as well so we're just going to buff that in yeah. 
I'm going to put what's left around my mouth. And into my laugh lines. Okay, so before we set that, we're going to go in with the Mali Eye Bright. And I really have been enjoying this as well. It really does um, make you look um, like you got eight hours of sleep is what Mally always says. And if you hear any noise in the background, that's just my son. Um, school vacation already started. Spring break. And we just use our ring finger. And we just rub it in. Tap it in. I like to just tap it in. And I did it in a V, so um, I'm trying to learn how to do, I guess, that Kim Kardashian look where you look a very, not super highlighted, but, you know, a little more awake than what I was looking earlier. So you don't want to really, like, blend the whole product and you just want to tap it in. Because you want to be very um, delicate with this under eye. It's very sensitive. It's very delicate. And I'm just looking down to make sure that I got it all. And I think I put more on one eye than the other. I think it's just the lighting. Okay. So now we're going to set it with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. You can use any powder you like. I'm just trying to use this one up because it's just too light for my face. Um, and I'm going to use the Taper Highlighter, the F35 from Sigma. And we're going to just tap that in. Just to set this really good. And then I'm going to put a little bit around my nose and around my mouth area since I put concealer there too. And the reason why I put the concealer around my nose is because I tend to have sometimes some redness. I really can't. It's very minor. And I'm putting it around my mouth because I did put the concealer here too. So now we're going to okay. go in with my favorite contour, the NYX Sand Blush. I love this. If you guys like that J.Lo contoured look combination, one, two step, definitely pick this up. It's This blush was only like five bucks, I think. I got it on the NYX website. And I'm going to go with my F40 Angle Large Angle Brush from Sigma. And I love this brush to apply this blush because, you see what I mean? Like, look. Can you see that? It's like, you don't even have to put highlight nothing. You just put it on and you're done. I mean, seriously, you don't even have to put highlight if you don't want to. And that's about right. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to run it here. And it looks really extreme right now, but remember, I'm going to buff this out. I think I might have put a little too much on this side. Let me put a little more on the other side. I think I got a little um, sand crazy on you guys. So I want both sides to look the same. And then what's left, we're just going to run it in the top of our hairline. So you see, even though the the, bro the foundation, let's say bronzer, is a little bit too um, light for me because I'm putting all these warm tone colors on it. And I'm really bronzing up my cheeks. It's um, it's okay because it, it doesn't look so bad. So you see what I mean? Like I literally can just leave it like this, and I'm okay. Uh, so I'm now we're gonna go with the blush. I'm gonna use today my Instain blush, and this is called Swiss Thought. And I got this sample, I believe, in an Ipsy bag or Birchbox. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like, and it's a beautiful color. And I'm going to actually apply it with that same F40 brush. And I'm just gonna, it's very pigmented, so be very careful. So I, I picked up too much. I'm gonna brush some of it off on the back of my hand and just start from not here. And that is a tip for you ladies if you put too much blush on your brush, just swatch it on the back of your hand and it will take some of it off. But you see what I mean about that color? It's a beautiful, like coral. What did you say? It's like, yeah, it's like a coral color. And I definitely don't have any blushes like this. And then that's gonna be enough. And I'm just going to keep applying it on my face. And I'm just using my left hand because it makes it easier to like really get it. And I think I might have put too much on this side. Or I think it's just my lighting because I have more shadowing this way. Because looking in my mirror doesn't look like that. It looks like it's fine. So I'm just trying to swirl the two colors together. That's a technique that I use. And then on this side. Because when I look at this side. Yeah, I think I need a little more blush on this side to make them even. Alright, so we are done with the blush, and this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go with the fun, really fun part is the highlight. I can't believe I'm turning into one of those people who loves highlight. I never thought I would, but I really do. So I'm going to go with my MAC Superb. I know this isn't available anymore, but um, you can use the Benefit Watts Up. I'm just trying to recreate the look the way it was in my video. The Benefit Watts Up, and I'm going to use my Dual Fiber Powder Blush Brush in the F15 brush from Sigma. 
So the uh, Benefit Watts Up would work and Benefit's High Beam also would work to give you that nice um, shimmer on the cheeks. And this brush I find is really good. So whatever's left, I'm just going to run it on the bridge of my nose and a little bit right there. So I think it's about even. The here looks even. I'm not really going by this because here looks um, like I don't have enough. But down when I look at my vanity mirror, I definitely have plenty. Okay, so we are going to do the lips. But I'm going to go finish up my hair. And I will be back to show you. I'm going to show you at least two lip options. Okay, once I want right to finish back. up the look by doing my eyebrows with my Anastasia Go Brow Kit. And what do you guys think about how I filled in the eyebrows? Let me know if you think it's too much or how does it look. I would appreciate the feedback. And then I went in and put on my House of Harlow earrings. I absolutely love these. These are the black and gold ones. And I put on my H Bunny um, black tassel bracelet. I think that's what it's called. So you guys can see the tassel. I absolutely love this bracelet. So now let's go in with the lip option. So the first option I have for you guys is my M Cosmetics lipstick in Posh. This is a matte lipstick, um, even though it feels very creamy. And I actually have never worn this lipstick, so let's see what um, combination we come up with. So you're going to put this on first. And this lipstick is very creamy, so this is what it looks like alone without So now I top. decided to put this and lipstick on top. This is from Pop Beauty, and it's called Fuchsia Fuchsia. And I got this in my February Ipsy bag, and I wanted to try it and see what it does, because this is a very, like, um, purple mauve color, and I don't want it to look so um, severe. I want to brighten it up a little bit, is what I'm trying to say. There you go. Okay, so this is option number one. This is the M Cosmetic Posh with the Pop Beauty Fuchsia Fuchsia. Option number two is Max Heroin Lipstick and um, NYX is Raspberry Tart. This is the latest um, butter gloss. And this is what I was actually wearing in the video where everyone asked me to recreate this makeup look. So let's apply on MAC Heroin. And this is also a matte lipstick. So that's Max Heroin Alone. If you want to, you could just leave it like this, but I like to put a little something on top of it. So um, then I put on NYX um, Butter Gloss in Raspberry Tart. tip for you ladies if you ever get like lipstick on the outside when you're ch um, trying different options just take the same foundation brush that you use and just close your lips and just brush all over with your lips closed so I'm gonna try to demonstrate that for you guys real quick and it should cover up any mistakes or whatever that you may have from before so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments below which one did you like more. Was it option one or option two? So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.